amanyo kuono ewo wono monkasa hujume die ya wo church o mercy kasam ene ka mpp abandi abeja o man yisu ono ena yero ato for since adi tu ya se ya si kasam ntutu ya nankase enko yi wo munye ni ye o manye no wona en si one time ubu a chire na abesi ani mu sa ena ye shi o man sika gu basa the imf the sustainability analysis the dsa in the year 2019 and this is before covid 19 put Ghana at a high risk of death distress. The situation by the end of the year 2020 certainly will worsen. But my worry is using the programmed loans that this government intend to borrow in the year 2021, the situation is certainly going to deteriorate. Comparing the debt sustainability indicators in the year 2020 to those in the year 2001, when Ghana was declared HIPIC, it is clear that the 2020 indicators are worse than those in the year 2001, even though the debt to GDP in indicator shows an improvement. But let me say that even though Ghana has not been declared HIPIC by the Britain Wood institutions, the debt sustainability indicators clearly shows that Ghana, unfortunately, is heavily indebted, poor country. But this actually has some key implications to the Ghanaian economy. I expect that capital expenditure going forward is going to reduce. I also expect that government will not be in a position to increase public sector wages even to the minimum level of inflation, just like we've seen in the year 2021, where government, whilst inflation is almost at 9%, we only awarded about 4% being wage increases. I also expect that going forward from the year 2021, I expect that there will be new taxes because government need to correct some of these imbalances. I wish to urge that in as much as the government intend to impose new taxes, they shouldn't be distortionary. There should be taxes that will spare economic growth, targeting the right people of the economy, and it should not actually disturb the running of the economy. We want to urge that the Akufuado Bawumia government must be bold to tell the Ghanaian public the truth. That the Ghanaian economy has been driven into the ditch and will require an urgent fiscal measure to pull out from the ditch. We expect the Akufuado Bawumia government to seek an urgent debt relief from the International Monetary Fund through the newly proposed debt relief initiative known as the Common Framework for Debt Treatment beyond the Debt Service Suspension Initiative, DSSI, which can be likened to HIPIC, similar to HIPIC, and it's important the government do that. We will also submit that failure by the Kufuado Bawumia government to do so, as recommended, will mean that within 18 months from today, Ghana would, will be exposed to a high risk of default on its debt service obligation, which will plunge this country into a deeper economic crisis. Honorable members, we also wish to recommend to the Kufuado Baumia government that they should not wait until disaster strikes and we default on our debt service obligation before taking the necessary action, as this would weaken our position to negotiate favorably. <laughs>